Yo, what up, boys? It's Stud. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to find all the boss zombies in Apocalypse Rising. So let's jump into it. But before this video starts, I just wanted to point out that there is a chance that I missed one or two zombies. Because, dude, there are so many in this game. But in the case that I missed one, I'll be putting the locations for all of them in the description so you guys can find them. But let's start this video, bro. Alright, so the first location is gonna be located right here on Lulu Island. And that's gonna be the big boss. And I actually have a really funny clip of this boss zombie that I just got. So, cue the clip. Taco! 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 No! <laughs> the big boss spawned in, bro! <laughs> he didn't know! But boys, this boss zombie can spawn the Patriot. But most of the time, it's just gonna spawn a regular XM. All right, let's move on to the next boss zombie location. All right, boys, while I'm running by this location, right around this area is where the M14 zombie spawns. There is a zombie that has an M14 on its back that spawns here. I don't know if you classify it as a boss zombie, but it's definitely a special zombie location. And while I'm running by Nas, I also think that you can find the M14 zombie and the legendary soldier at Nas. But let's move on to the next location. All right, boys, the next boss zombie locations are going to be here in Hastings. Uh, excuse me, dude. Leave me alone. All right, so the first zombie location is going to be located in this house. Up here, you're going to find a closet with the door open, and in here will spawn the G3 zombie. If you ever see a zombie in this room, it's literally going to have a G3. The G3 zombie... Uh, it spawns with a G3. It's really just that simple. Oh, and I don't know if this one really counts, but this is the M1911 zombie. Uh, it's not that interesting. <laughs> Alright, boys, so we're pulling up to our next location, which is at Motel, located right here on the map. And here is where you can find actually two separate boss zombies. So the two boss zombies that you're going to be able to find here are going to be the Hitman zombie and the Hustler zombie. So usually they spawn just kind of around the building. They can spawn on the second floor. They can spawn on the first floor. Um, you just kind of have to search for them. But the Hitman zombie spawns the Silent Partner M1911. And the Hustler spawns a MAC-10 and the Hustler outfit. But dude, they're literally not here, man. What the heck? Neither of them. Usually when I come here... There's like a pretty decent chance that like at least one of them are here, but uh, there's there's none of them here. All right, boys, the next location is located just down the road from Motel, and it is the L96 zombie. So the L96 zombie can spawn anywhere at the bottom, but it also has a chance to spawn on top. And of course, it's not here either, dude. <laughs> Usually I have good luck recording and right now I'm having like no luck. This is your fault But let's move on to the next location All right boys the next zombie location is actually like right by the last one again And this is the admiral's house. So the admiral's house spawns the admiral zombie which spawns in the basement Is it here, please? Of course not. But down here, the admiral zombie will spawn and it can drop the admiral's green laser Which is an attachment and it can drop the Admiral's M9. All right, now we're gonna head to Coastal Bunkers for the next two zombie locations. All right, so down here in Coastal Bunkers, you can find two boss zombie spawns. You can find the Militia Officer and the Spetsnaz Zombie. And if you guys didn't already know where the Spetsnaz Zombies can spawn, uh, here's a map of it right now. But down here in this room, I believe. Yeah, he's right there. And wait, is there two of them? Bro, what the? <laughs> Dude, there's two of them. Well, I guess that made up for the last two. Oh my gosh, there's another one? But let's move on to the German infantry cave. Oh, oh, that scared me. All right, so these are the German infantry zombies. So they all have a 100% chance to drop these rare MP40 SMGs. So if you ever need a weapon, bro, just come to this cave, which is located right here on the map. But inside this cave, usually there is up to two or three um, of these zombies that can spawn. All right, where are? Yep, yeah, there's there's two more. But yeah, bro, this is actually one of the most known like secret places on the map. But if you ever need like a good like decent automatic weapon like early on in the game, you should definitely stop here. But as you can see, these zombies have their own outfit, and these zombies can drop every single piece of this outfit. All right, boys, now it's time to make our way into Ashland. All right, boys, so we're just getting into Ashland, and I see a sports car, first of all. But second of all, there is uh, a clown boss zombie in here. And this outfit that he has, he actually drops the entire outfit. And these things don't play around, bro. Oh, here's another one. Uh, can I just... Okay, thank you. So those clown zombies don't actually drop any weapons. They just drop the clown outfit. 
Um, but there's more zombies in Ashland, so let's go find them right now. All right, boys, so we are now in the center of Ashland, and uh, I'm gonna show you the zombie spawns around here. So obviously, you're gonna find the M16A2 zombie that's gonna be in the middle. Uh, at almost every military location, there's an M16A2 zombie. But if you go to the bank, or any bank, uh, there's a chance for the python zombie to spawn. But it would spawn right in here, and uh, yeah. All right, but let's move on to the next location. All right, boys, so the next boss zombie location is going to be at this, like, uh, swimming area. I don't know if it's, like, uh, a resort or whatever. But these are the businessmen zombies. And I'm not sure if these guys spawn anything too good. Uh, I think it's just, like, one that I thought of off the top of my head. And it's just, like, a unique little spawn. But for some reason, there's just a bunch of businessmen at this uh, public pool. So I guess they dropped their outfit. I think that might be one of the only, like, good reasons to come here. <laughs> If there's something cool and I just don't know, let me know in the comments. All right, boys. So I just pulled up to the next location. And the next location is the Hobo King Zombie, which is located at the Destroyer Shipwreck. So the Hobo King Zombie can spawn anywhere around the shipwreck. And you'll know it's the Hobo King because he takes no knockback. If you hit him with your knife, he doesn't flinch. All right, so he wasn't here. I searched all over. Uh, but uh, let's move on to the next location. All right, boys. So the next two boss zombies are going to be located in Power Plant. So throughout Power Plant, there is a chance for an Og zombie to spawn and also a Foul zombie to spawn. For this video, I've included a lot of boss zombies that I guess technically aren't like boss zombies. But these are both like really cool, like unique zombies that spawn only at Power Plant. And dude, the pilot spawns here too? Okay, I guess we can cover this. So the pilot can spawn at heli crashes and also at uh, airports. It has its own pilot outfit, as you can see right here, that you can unlock. But boys, I think that's everything at Power Plant, so let's move on to the next location. All right, boys, so I don't know if you guys just heard that, but those were gunshots. But I'm going to take the time to show you guys the Shaggy zombie. If y'all have ever watched Scooby-Doo, uh, you know what it is. It's Shaggy. Uh, he spawns around the outside of this little trailer. Um, I don't think that he's home right now. So uh, I think I'm going to go kill this player instead. <laughs> oh, God, he's right here. Bro, where'd he come from? Shaggy, chill. All right, so our teammate is taking shots at people currently. I'm not sure where they are. Oh, God, he's right here. <laughs> All right, and there's another player at the next location that I wanted to show you guys a boss zombie at. Uh, at this church right here. So right before I go attack this guy I'm gonna show you guys this building right here inside this building There is a zombie that spawns with the m60 or it has a chance to so if you go upstairs in this area right here There is a chance for a zombie that has an m60 to spawn, but he's not here and uh, my teammates need some help So uh, let's go kill this goober Oh That's not good hey nice but anyways at this church like i said earlier the black plague doctor spawns this is the original plague doctor it'll spawn right in this room right here and it has a chance to drop the black plague doctor outfit so if you want a chance of finding that bro you just gotta come to this church probably over 100 times to be able to get it all right boys so the next location is in beaufort and it is in this cave right here and most of you guys are gonna know what i'm talking about so down this pathway there is a chance that you can get the white plague doctor i've killed this thing 40 times now and i still haven't gotten the white plague doctor outfit but yeah bro it's not here but uh it would spawn right in this little area right here but let's move on to the next location all right boys moving on to the next location which is the vietnam zombie so this zombie is going to spawn in this place which is located right here and you're going to want to go upstairs once you go upstairs there's a chance that he will be up here and they actually have the the tan military parachute bag which i haven't seen in a minute but uh uh, he is not spawned right now, but I believe that he spawns an M1 Thompson and he has like a cool outfit that you can get to by killing him. But uh, yeah. All right, boys. So we're pulling up on the next location. Uh, these are going to be the, uh, what are these called? These are going to be your, uh, what are these? The VIP zombies? I'm not sure. Uh, but these guys are going to be dropping MP5s as you can see right here. And also, uh, different outfits, but I think it's guaranteed that two of them drop an MP5 every time. So this is another really good place to go. If you need like loot early on in the game, if you spawn over here, definitely come right here and look for these MP5s. Because the MP5 is crazy good. And also just throwing this in there, at these tents over there, 
there is a chance that not only an AUG can spawn, but an M16A1. The zombie for those can spawn over there, and you definitely want to check that. All right, boys, so we have just arrived at prison, and I'm going to show you the three different boss zombie locations that can spawn here. So when you get to prison, if you go straight down to the basement and check in here, there is a chance for here he is the snake zombie and he dropped it he dropped it let's go oh bro i took it before he could take it my teammate wanted it so bad <laughs> he said i've been trying to get that thing for so long i've never gotten it here bro i here here bro i got you i got you i already have a sweeper bro you can have it all right my present to you it is actually one of my favorite zombies it's one of the ones that they just added uh but let's move on to the other zombie locations in prison oh Bro, what are you doing? Bro, what was that goober doing? <laughs> he thought. He really thought he could pop shot us. All right, boys. So as you can see right there, that right there is the warden zombie. So if you go up these steps right here and you come in here, this is the warden zombie. I think he drops a deagle. Yep, he drops a deagle. There's nothing really special about him. Uh, He's just a warden. But there's actually another one in here, which is pretty cool. All right, so right there is the gang leader. And he can drop that white do-rag and also his AK. What's up, Goober? What's up, Goober? Uh, he didn't drop the do-rag. Come on. But those are the three prison boss zombies. Oh, dude, there's a player here. What, 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 what is he doing? Hey, hey, what up? Hey, what up, bro? What up? Hey, what's up? What up? Oh my gosh, dude. He's literally like one health. Don't do it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. No. Oh no. Dude, no way. Not a chance, bro. What is my luck? I spawned right beside this. No way. The new operator XM, dude, literally just spawned in. <laughs> what is my luck? All right, while I'm waiting for my teammates to come get me, the next boss zombie or even like unique zombie spawns here at refugee camp. And I think I might hear him down here, bro. There he is. So this is the mad doctor. What do you have? Uh, a P38 pistol? Okay. But down here, it, I mean, you guys have seen this before, I think. Uh, it's located at refugee uh, or campground. But yeah, this is the mad doctor. I'm actually surprised that I saw this one. Uh, I've only encountered this one like one other time. All right, boys. So I got picked up by my teammates and we are at the next location. This is actually one of my hidden locations that I've shown you guys before. Um, right here, you go downstairs and you can find the mafia boss. But you get the point. Uh, there is a mafia boss that spawns down here. It's pretty good. Thank you for the med kit. But yeah, boys, let's move on to the next location. The next location is the Mosin zombie. So the Mosin zombie spawns right up here by this tower. And this is actually known as Mosin Tower. Let me just hit like 10 more things. Well, I don't see the Mosin zombie, but you'll know it's the Mosin zombie because you'll literally see a Mosin on its shoulder. All right, next location. Uh, whoops. <laughs> All right, let's forget about what just happened. And uh, let's think about this. This is where the Jeremiah's Winchester zombie spawns. So here is the zombie. Now, will he actually have the Winchester? No, he doesn't. But this zombie has a chance to drop the Jeremiah's Winchester, which is a special weapon. Uh, and that's pretty cool. I, I guess it's not that cool, but let's, let's move on to the next location. All right, boys, we are at the next location already. I know it's super quick, but inside of junkyard, the vagrant zombie can spawn and he drops the vagrant Lupara, which is a, another special weapon. But yeah, boys, the vagrant zombie is not here. So, uh, let's move on to the next location. All right, boys. So here in the corner of Mackinac Island spawns the VIP zombie. Yeah. Uh, I I don't, I don't think he's here. But as you can see, the SpongeBob house is here. <laughs> we got Squidward's house, we got Patrick's house, and we got SpongeBob's house, bro. That's even cooler than a boss zombie. But thankfully for us, there's like uh, three other boss zombies just on this island. And the next one's just right up here. So anywhere surrounding this little smuggler's area right here, you can find the rogue zombie, which drops the rogue Uzi and the rogue masks. It's actually one of the harder ones to find, dude. I, like, never have any luck finding it. All right, boys, let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can find it. But what you're going to want to do is run around this area a bunch of times. Eventually, it will spawn in. If we stayed here for another 10 or 15 minutes, we could probably find it. 
But uh, it's getting dark out, and we need to make our way to the mines. All right, down this cave, you can find the caveman zombie. So once you get to this point, you're going to keep running forward straight through here. And up here to the right is where he will spawn. Is he home? There he is. Go over. What are you doing? Come on, drop, drop it, dude. Come on. So this guy has a chance to drop a katana. And it's, I think it's called the Forge Katana, but it's actually pretty good. Uh, how could you not drop it, bro? Come on. Usually I have really good luck for videos, but this video is not a super good lucky video. All right, boys, and the last zombie location is here at Smuggler's Airstrip. And here is where you can find the Smuggler Pilot. The Smuggler's Pilot can drop the Bootleg Type 37, which is a uh, special weapon. And boys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm exhausted. I just ran all the way across the map to every single location. <laughs> I'm I'm tired, bro. But boys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you think that I got something wrong in this video, make sure to comment, bro. Uh, I will be keeping an updated list on where to find every single boss zombie. And also, you may have noticed that I left out some like event zombies. And the reason for that is I made an event video. So if you haven't seen that already, go check that out. I'll put that link in the description. And yeah, boys, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Adios.